Welcome to Seven Academy. In this tutorial, I want to teach you how you can open a Tumblr blog. Tumblr is owned by someone that owns WordPress. If you are a blogger and you want to rank, you want to make sure that people are you have traffic to your blog, the best place to register is Tumblr. But many people are confused, they don't have to register with Tumblr. So today I want to teach you how you can register step by step with Tumblr. Just go to Google, type Tumblr, and from there go to your website, go to their website. Or simply put, type Tumblr, T U M B L R dot C O M stroke register and press enter. That will bring you to this place. Once you get here, put your email address. What else I'm going to put mine now? Put your email address and your password. Or you can sign up with your Google account or Apple or any other. Let me start with my Google account. So I click continue with Google. Then you choose the Google that you want to use. Then here it will require you to put other recommended things that you want to use. Once you get to this stage, then that is it for you to go and check your email. Don't follow anybody if you like and follow any of these people. But here it is your 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 your, your dashboard or what I call your home page right now. You can see test, photo, cute, and there, but it is not yet over. So let's continue. Let's go straight to our email. You send us a message for us to confirm. This is my email account. This is Tombly. They send me a message. So I click on the account. Once you click, hopefully it was you. You say yes, it was you. If it's not you, you know it's not you. But I assume for some people, they wouldn't they wouldn't just agree like this. They just tell you to click on it was me. But my because of some reason they didn't tell me to click like that. But in case they tell you to click it was me, just click it was me and that's all. Once you click it was me, you now come back to the place and we continue our uh, uh, creation of a blog. So you come over here to and click on this picture icon. Can you see it? You scroll down, you go straight to where they write edit appearance. That's where we are going. You go to still scroll down, edit appearance. You see it? Can you see it? So scroll when you click, see what I did? I click on the image, then you scroll that where you get to edit appearance. You click on edit appearance. Then when you click on edit appearance, it will bring you here. So that I want to also change the our image. Okay, so you click here again, edit appearance. But here, let me just give you some explanation. Yeah, if you want to change your username, fine, you can change it. But me, this one is okay by me. So it's, you have a URL is a www.tonday.com slash Steven. Remember, they are the owner. And since they are the owner, Tumblr must always come before your own name. Okay? But if you don't have any custom domain, at this point, you have to go, either go to Namecheap or any website, any hosting site, and get your own domain, right? Once you get your own domain, you can now come over here if you want to use your custom domain and you put your custom domain. But I, I already have a custom domain, I have a site already, I have this, I have them. That's why Seven is my custom domain. My website is www.seven.com. So I don't want to change anything here. Everything is okay by me. But it's not okay by you. The reason they gave you wasn't what you really wanted. You go to your any of the name chip, any of the host chip, change your get your domain. Some some give it for free. Your domain name. Come over here. Put the domain name that you like. For you to do that, you come to this pencil icon. Click on it. You change the name. Anything you want to change, you come here. You change it. Okay. But I like what is here for now. So I don't want to do anything. But there's a new change. I also show you. But remember, here is where you come to do all the necessary changes. But for now, for me, I want to change my own appearance. So click on Edit Appearance. <clears throat> when you click on Edit Appearance, the pencil icon will appear. So click on the pencil icon. Okay. Now, what you want to do? You want to choose a picture. So what do we choose the picture from? Remember, stretch holder image, show header image. Make sure that these things are all clicked. Okay. Unless you don't want it, you don't want to click it. But if you like it, make sure that they are all checked. Then you now come and, and choose picture image. Okay. This will take you to your own script or your own page where you can choose your picture image. Any place you put your image, go over there and choose the image of your choice. I already have an image, so I want to choose this. Okay, open image. Is it making sense? Now this is what this is it. You know, then title. So gradually we'll get there. Hope you are getting it. If you have any question, ask on my comment section below, and I will put. So. Once you're there, you scroll down again. I want to edit this, our title. Click on the avatar. Click on the avatar. Click on title. I'm not clicking. I'm supposed to click. 
So you click on the title, click on the avatar first, choose show how uh, you can move avatar, you can show avatar, then we can make it circle and then choose a picture that will be on the avatar. You know, I have a lot of pieces here, so I'm gonna choose one from any of them. I'm gonna choose one. Let me check my downloads if I have any picture there that I can choose. I'll go there. Go there. So we make sure that you do everything neat and proper. Make things easy for you. Let me see if this one will go. Okay, this one has gone. Thank God. So I'll put this. So I prefer this, that is over. Then now come to your title, okay? You come to the title, you clean it up and put your title, which is your description. I actually prepare something. Let me check my page, if it's open, my about page. It's not yet opening. About page, I have some right up there I can easily use, okay? I just hope this is it, my main website. I'll scroll down. Yeah, my name is uh -huh. So I just copy this and paste. Just copy this and paste there. Then for you, you can write anything. Okay. Feel free, write all about you, your description, what you do, things like that. Okay. So I just put my website here first. C E R seven dot C O M seven dot com. Okay, it can be www.seven.com. www.seven.com. Then you can change the color if you want to and give him <coughs> any color you like. But to me, I think the color is okay. So there's no point, but you can actually change the color if you want to. Okay. Then let's still scroll down. Anything if it that you want to change, seven is okay. So I'm not changing anything. I'm not changing anything. Uh, my link is okay. Share post you like. Share the thumbnail you are following and all this stuff, stuff, stuff. Let people ask questions. Yes. Let people ask questions. It's not yet open. Okay. But you can actually come over here and do some check here. Yeah. Let me finish the description and see if that is the cost. Okay. Let me remove this and put my name is yes. So I think that is okay. Ah, it's okay. Let it be bold. Let it be bold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is okay for you. So you go down. So once you're true, once we finish what, whatever you're writing and you're true with editing here, you save, okay? So you click on save and then you move on again to the next page, okay? So let's save our work. Come over here, you click on save and this will be saved. Let it save. Once you save, we proceed to the next one. Our work are saved. So this is our new page right now. So once you're, you're done with this, you scroll down again. Scroll down. As you scroll down, you come over here to enable custom team. But if you actually want to change, you don't like this seven dot com that they give you. The the www.tumblr.com slash seven. If you don't like it, you can then come over here, click on it, and change it. Okay. But if it's okay with you, but it's okay with me, then next you could just come over to enable custom offer. Then you go to edit team. Okay. You go to edit team. Edit team is opening. Once it's open, we also start there again. So you come over here to to team. You also scroll here as usual. Scroll, you don't know what to browse. You go to browse, browse teams, click on browse team. Click on browse team. If you come browse, you see that there's a lot of team, but some teams here are paid team, while some are free. So to get the paid, the free, and the light, you want to pay five. You don't want to pay, come over here and click on this. 
Then here you see premium team, three team, single column, two column, three, and that's what they're so without much ado, let's look on three teams, okay? Click on three teams and it will open. Let's wait for it to open. Once it open, we continue our work. Mm, so you see a lot of them to pick from. So many, anyone you like, just scroll down, look at it. Anyone you feel like you want to use, you use, okay? So let's scroll and choose anyone that is of interest to us. Taylor Seat, Midnight Teams, Cityscape. I think mean, Cityscape is okay. Opponent Team, Opponent Team. Ink. Oracle Crush. I'm trying to choose anyone, you choose anyone you feel like you want to use. But looking at something that is very, very simple. Very, very simple. This is basic. This is basic and the basic is like this. Okay. I think we make use of that basic. Now this one you take the oh the way the, 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 the team is structured, okay? So I can make the first choice uh, choose something lovely, something that you will like. Okay, let me go with the basic. So when you click on the basic, you click anyway, anyway you want to, you are using, you click on it. And once you click on it, you come over here and click on use. Okay, click on use. Then you click on use. Your description is there. The avatar is there. You can now start updating it. Okay, you update it. You know, you update it. Do the right thing. Do it the way you want it. Then if you also want to add a page, you scroll down to add a page. Your background image can add a background image. You can add a page. I will show you how to add a page. So for you to add a page, just scroll down, click on add a page. Okay. Let's go on add a page. That that of your page. Might we be let's say a battles or contact page, anyone you want them to see. Okay. You can also put a battles page, a contact page, as many pages as you want. Okay, it's free, it's for you. Okay. And once you enter a usual, click on save. So the body is just right about us or about seven, okay? About seven. About seven. Or about seven digital market. So about yourself. Anything you want to write, okay? About seven. Let me just put digital marketing. About seven. Seven digital marketing. Services. Okay. Then you click on save. Okay. Click on save. Click on save. Flash about dot. Are you seeing what they are telling me? That my seven dot com slash about us. The actual message is okay. About us page. Then you write something on it. Once you then if there's a link, you show a link on the page. There's any link that but I you want them to link, you share a link. Then you can also create the link as well that you want to show. Create a link, show the link, so that way people can go out and you know. Then if you also if you're not about the you can on ETML and put the code. Okay, you put the code and the code will go. So if not by ETML, it's also good for you. Okay, like me, I'm not by ETML, so I want to put a code now. So by the time people click on this, we take them to my own website. Okay. So you put this way, it becomes easy for you. Let me just copy the code I want to put there and bring it straight away. So I want this thing to link to my site. When I put it, we link them to my site. Okay. So what we do is you just select it. Once you select it, you click on the link. Okay, this is where you can insert a link. When you click on insert a link, insert through edit link. So you, you click on insert a link. Let me see if it didn't work. Let me use my HTML code to put it. So when you click on it, you insert your own link. But if you don't want to insert your link, you can just leave it like this and allow them to continue your work. Okay. <coughs> yeah, this is it. Let's update preview. And let's see. See, our battles has come over. So you now have a you can check your pages now. How many pages you have? You click so this is how this is exactly how you can work and open a thumbnail account. Okay. If you have any question, feel free to ask me. And thank you for watching this video. 
you're going to subscribe to me subscribe like share and ask questions for learn more thank you see you in my next video bye